Yeah, I'll start off by uh, giving Carolina uh, a ton of credit. You know, they obviously were ready to play. Um, I think on our end, it shows the importance of practice and uh, the lack of practice and the continuity that, that um, you know, we, we lost um, just because of the last three weeks. But, you know, we've got to figure out, um, you know, how to get better from here, you know, and, and it starts with having the ability to practice consistently every single day. And um, uh, we need that. You know, we need that. It's tough in the middle of February, take off three weeks, sporadically practicing every few days. Some di- some guys being able to do individuals, guys being out. Um, you know, so uh, wasn't fun today, but uh, like we did after we um, played against Wisconsin early in the year, we've got to be able to figure out what was broken, get better at it. Chris, you, you talked about earlier in the week about keeping the guys' spirits up and about so many ups and so many downs. What did you tell them in the locker room there after this game to try to continue to keep their spirits in, in, in good fashion after a game like that? Yeah, I mean, first address some things that, that I think we had control of regardless of how much we practice, and that was – you know, our, our inability to keep them off the glass in the first 10 minutes, Jody. You know, they had 10 offensive rebounds in 12 minutes. They had several of them uh, on missed free throws. And then uh, our inability to get back. We've been a really good transition defensive team all year. Um, obviously, Carolina's as fast as it gets. Um, you know, they have a relentless pace to them. And, um, and, and we didn't get the job done in those two areas. But, you know, be that as it may, we have to turn the page. We got a good... Uh, team coming in uh, on Tuesday, and we have to make sure that, that we use tomorrow's practice and Monday's practice uh, to improve our basketball team and, and get back where we feel like uh, we were. And obviously, we weren't today. But, uh, you know, we just got to stick together. You know, you got to stick together through, you know, tough times. And, and, you know, our guys have done that all year uh, in the situation that, you know, every team finds themselves in the country with, you know, COVID and whatnot. But, we have to be able to stick together, uh, you know, and, and worry about what's important and uh, improving our basketball team here the next two days in practice. You mentioned the runouts in Carolina again. They shot 60.9%, but they had 29 assists. Their ability to not only get the runouts, but to make the right passes, it was just very difficult to defend that, isn't it? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, their pressure bothered us uh, deep in the first half, and it created some runouts for them. And, and again, when you give Carolina um, second and third chances, it, it, it puts so much less pressure on that first shot. Obviously, Kerwin Walton got extremely hot in the first half, uh, which, you know, we knew that. Again, we had one day uh, to prepare, but, you know, we knew that he was the best shooter on our team, and, and we allowed him to, to get, you know, pretty clean looks. Uh, but when they did miss, they had the ability or they – to go get it and put it back in. And that's just going to give a team confidence. And, and we needed to shut that. Uh, we needed to shut that faucet off and we did not. And again, that gave them a lot more confidence. And then we started uh, letting our offense dictate our defensive effort uh, for the better part of the last half. You mentioned early on, uh, they did a good job. They did a really good job on the offensive glass. You cleaned that up a little at the end, but the first 10 minutes of the game, you were right there. You played well. Was there something at, at some point uh, that maybe the, the rust were, it did kick in a little bit? Do you feel like the non-practicing or the, the inconsistency or, or what was it after 10 minutes? I mean, it, there, there's so much you're trying to cover Jody in a day and, and uh, hindsight 2020, um, you know, we, we got hurt trying to post trap. Uh, they were just, uh, you know, quicker to the, to the big guy diving, you know, we lost vision a few times. We didn't get where we needed to get, um, you know, and that was a, a heavy emphasis because of what Carolina does so well. And uh, just just too short of a turnaround for us to be able to implement all that stuff in, in a day. But I, I think the game got away from us when we started turning the ball over in the end of the first half. You know, we let their pressure, whether it was pressure in the basketball, whether it was not having the ability to get open for a teammate trying to catch the ball at 40 feet as opposed to, you know, backdoor cutting and maybe having another teammate fill uh, his spot. We could not run our offense close enough to the three-point line. That gave them transition baskets that, you know, quite honestly, we hadn't given up um, really all year. But 
again, there, there's a lot that we got to get better at after today. You hit your first three, Sam, and then you just couldn't buy one. And, and you did get some good looks, I felt like. Maybe a few that were rushed, but you got some good looks. They just didn't go down. Yeah, we got we got some, you know, rubbery legs. We, we, we need to get on that practice floor day in, day out. We need to get in. Our team needs to get in a rhythm. You know, for three weeks, we've had, you know, two practices, then we're off, you know, practice and then we're off. Then guys are allowed to come in individually on their own with no managers or coaches. It's just been um, it's been a unique experience and uh, manifest itself in a very poor effort today that, that we've got to bounce back from. And the, and the last thing you've mentioned it a couple of times how important you've got a good team coming in. Uh, it's been a crazy few days. How important are the next two days of practice for this team and the rest of the season? As important as any two practices we've had all year, Jody. You know, God willing, knock on wood, we can we can practice tomorrow. We can practice Monday. Um, you know, we've got to correct some things. You know, we've got to be able to play with an edge on the defensive end. Uh, and then offensively, we, we've got to be able to get the ball – uh, to the guys that we want to get it to, and they've got to be able to convert those opportunities, and we got to get second chance points like Carolina did against us today. Uh, we got to get a lot back. Thanks, Chris. Go to Shannon. Uh, Malik Williams made his long-awaited return. How would you assess how he played in his 11 minutes, knowing he still, you know, has some rust to shake off? Yeah, that's how I'd assess it, and he, he would, I'm sure, say the same thing. You know, it was, it was good to have him back out there on the floor. We knew he wouldn't be mistake-free. Uh, but, you know, as he gets practice time under his belt, as he gets more opportunities in games, he'll start to develop a comfort level that he had a year ago. Um, you know, I'm sure there were a lot of nerves. I'm sure conditioning isn't where he wants it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was good to have him back on the floor, obviously. Matt? Hey, Coach. Matt McGavick with Sports Illustrated. Obviously, the long layoff is the biggest factor into what happened today. It is what it is. But what did you think about your team's overall effort? Because you guys were starting to turn a quarter before the pause. Uh, what did you think about the guys' effort, given everything going on? Yeah, we uh, we probably played hard for about the first eight or ten minutes of the game. Hard enough. Uh, we certainly were, again – uh, not mistake free. We gave up several offensive rebounds in those first 10 minutes, really set the tone for Carolina. Um, you know, I thought we drooped our heads. You know, I thought we felt sorry for ourselves, you know, the last 25, 30 minutes of the game. And, uh, you know, it's been a, uh, it's been a wacky three weeks, you know, I'll be honest, but, um, you know, we've got a group that, that wants way more out of the season uh, than we showed today. We've got to have two really good practices here, uh, Sunday and Monday. Get better, uh, get better, and uh, get ready for Notre Dame. Any other questions, Coach? Thank you. Eric, go ahead.